In the quiet corners of our digital existence, a revolution has been unfolding, one algorithm at a time. It's a subtle shift, almost imperceptible, like the slow rise of daylight until suddenly, the world has almost changed. This revolution is marked not by the clamor of upheaval but by the silent recalibration of our daily decisions, all thanks to the pervasive and often invisible influence of algorithms. Number 1. The Architects of Habit Algorithms are like the helpful librarians of the internet, always ready to recommend the next book, or in this case, song, video, or lesson, that might pique our interest. They don't make any noise, and we might not even know they're there, but they're always working to make our online time more enjoyable. When it comes to music, algorithms play a big role in what we end up listening to, even if we don't realize it. They start by looking at the songs we play the most. If we listen to a lot of songs by one artist, the algorithm takes that as a hint that we really like that artist's music. It's not just about the artist, though. The algorithm also looks at the beats per minute of the songs, the genres we seem to prefer, and even the time of day we listen to certain types of music. It's gathering all these little clues to figure out what music fits our taste. Once the algorithm has a good idea of what we like, it starts to suggest other songs. These suggestions are based on what other people who like the same music also enjoy. The more we listen, the better the algorithm gets at understanding what we like. It's a cycle that keeps our playlists fresh and exciting. The algorithm also pays attention to how we listen to music. If we skip a song halfway through, it takes that as a sign that maybe that song wasn't the right fit for us. On the other hand, if we repeat a song several times, the algorithm marks it as a favorite. This smart system helps us when we're feeling adventurous, too. Say we usually listen to pop music, but one day we decide to try out some classical music. The algorithm will notice this change and might start introducing us to more classical pieces. This way, we get to discover music that we probably would never have found on our own. Algorithms are not just about music though. They're also incredibly savvy when it comes to the content we stream. For videos, think of algorithms as the directors of our own personal film festival. They select videos from a vast library, tailored just for us. If we've been watching a lot of cooking shows, the algorithm queues up more of those, maybe with a new chef or a different style of cooking we haven't tried yet. It's paying attention to what catches our eye, what makes us stay and watch till the end, and what we skip after just a few seconds. Let's say we watch a video about space and spend a lot of time on it, maybe even watch it twice. The algorithm notes that down. The next time we log in, it might suggest a documentary about the planets or a sci-fi movie. It's not just throwing random videos at us, it's making educated guesses based on what we've shown we like. And just like the case in music, if our interests shift from space to the deep sea, the algorithm shifts too, bringing us videos about ocean life and underwater mysteries. Number 2. The Decision Makers in Commerce In commerce, algorithms are the new sales associates. When we shop online or go to stores, these algorithms are paying close attention. They notice the things we buy and even the things we just look at. Then, they use that information to figure out what we like. For example, if we buy a lot of sports gear, the algorithm sees that pattern. The next time we're online or near a sports store, it might show us an ad for a sale on basketballs or running shoes. It's not just making wild guesses, it's using what it knows about us to try and be helpful. It's like if we told a friend we love basketball, and the next day they told us about a basketball game happening nearby. But algorithms don't just look at what we do, they also look at what other people like us do. If lots of people who buy the same things we do also buy a certain kind of snack, the algorithm might suggest that snack to us, too. Sometimes, however, this leads to the algorithms getting a little too excited and suggest things we don't want. But that's because they're still learning about us. They're trying to be nice, but they might not know us as well as they thought. When that happens, we can just ignore the suggestion, and the algorithm will learn from that. Number 3. The Caretakers of Health Algorithms are also becoming increasingly important in the world of healthcare, especially with the rise of precision medicine, a new approach to that makes treatment as individual as the patient. This relies heavily on algorithms to process vast amounts of personal health data. 
In traditional therapy settings, the AI can enhance the therapeutic process by providing therapists with detailed insights into their patients' mental states between sessions. This is achieved through the analysis of data collected from wearable devices that monitor sleep patterns, physical activity, and other health metrics. Therapists can use this information to track progress and make informed decisions about treatment adjustments. As of now, therapeutic chatbots and virtual assistants powered by AI are becoming increasingly common. These tools provide immediate support and can guide individuals through various self-help exercises or coping mechanisms during times of distress. They are programmed to recognize signs of mental health crises and can escalate the situation by providing resources or alerting healthcare providers if necessary. But algorithms in healthcare are not just about treatment, they're also about prevention. For example, if someone has a history of heart disease in their family, an algorithm can look at their medical records, family history, and lifestyle choices to assess their personal risk. This information can then be used to suggest personalized lifestyle changes or preventive measures. One of the most significant contributions of AI in mental health is in the early detection of conditions such as depression, anxiety, and stress. Algorithms can analyze patterns in speech, typing speed, word choice, and even the subtle nuances of a person's voice to identify signs of mental distress. For instance, slower typing speeds and frequent use of words that convey negative emotions can be indicative of depressive symptoms. Similarly, changes in the tone or pitch of a person's voice may signal anxiety or stress. Despite the potential benefits, the use of AI raises ethical considerations. Issues of privacy, consent, and data security are paramount as sensitive personal information is being collected and analyzed. There is also the need to ensure that AI tools are free from biases that could affect the quality of life provided to different populations. The power of algorithms, thus, comes with great responsibility. As they become more integrated into the fabric of our lives, we must ensure that they serve us, not the other way around. We must demand transparency in how they work and accountability for the decisions they make. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.